Hello to all amazing learners. Till now we have learned about discovery of electrons and protons. But atom isn't complete till now. It has one more thing inside it that we will see today. Before moving, let's learn some terminologies. First is neutral. It is neither a positive charge like on protons nor a negative charge like on electrons. It's neutral that is with zero charge. Second is photons. A photon is the smallest discrete amount of electromagnetic radiation. It is the basic unit of all light. Now coming to the main part, Rutherford had discovered the atomic nucleus in 1911 and had observed the proton in 1919. But after the discovery of atomic structure, this was the structure everyone believed in, as you can see over here. But some scientists were not satisfied because they thought something is missing. According to Rutherford, nucleus contain protons which have positive charges. But as we know, positive charges repel each other. So how protons are not repelling each other in the nucleus of an atom? How all protons in the nucleus were held together without showing repulsion? This was the first clue about new particle in an atom. Second clue was when scientists balance different atoms, they knew a hydrogen atom contains one proton in its nucleus and a helium atom contains two protons in its nucleus. So they tried to balance them by mass by keeping two atoms of hydrogen with one atom of helium. As simple logic, two protons of two hydrogen atoms should balance with two protons of one helium atom. But they were assumed to see that helium atom was still heavier than two hydrogen atoms. By this, they thought there is something heavier in addition to protons in the nucleus of helium atom. Around the year 1930, several researchers including German physicist Walter Both and his student Becker had begun bombarding beryllium with alpha particle from a polonium source and studying the radiation emitted by the beryllium as a result. Some scientists thought this highly penetrating radiation emitted by the beryllium consisted of high energy photons. But a British physicist James Chadwick had noticed some odd features of this radiation and began to think it might instead consist a neutral particle such as those Rutherford had proposed. One experiment in particular caught his attention. Frederick and Ionai Joliet Curie had studied the then unidentified radiation from beryllium as it hit a paraffin wax target. They found that this radiation knocked loose protons from hydrogen atom in the target and those protons recoiled with very high velocity. Joliet Curie believed that the radiation hitting the paraffin target must be high energy gamma photons. But Chadwick thought that explanation didn't fit because photons don't have mass. So how it is possible for photons to push heavy protons out of the paraffin wax? He thought there must be something heavier than proton to kick proton out of the paraffin wax. So in 1932, he tried similar experiment himself and became convinced that the radiation ejected by the beryllium was in fact a neutral particle about the mass of a proton. He observed that the mass of a new particle is just slightly more than the mass of proton. That's why new neutral particle is pushing protons out of the paraffin wax. He named those neutral particles as neutrons. Chadwick also noted that because of neutrons had no charge, they penetrate much further into a target than protons would. Let's take an example to understand this. You might have played marble in your childhood. Now consider you want to hit a marble of 50 gram out of a square box drawn on the floor with a marble of 5 gram. So what you are gonna observe? Yes, you will observe that 5 gram marble can't push the 50 gram marble out of the box. So what you will do? Yes, you will think that to kick 50 gram marble out of the square box, you will need heavier marble. So you will select consider marble of 60 gram. 
Now it will be easy to kick out 50 gram marble. Same like these protons which are lighter in mass than neutrons were pushed out of the paraffin wax. In February 1932, after experimenting for only about two weeks, Chadwick published a paper titled The Possible Existence of a Neutron, in which he proposed that the evidence favored the neutron rather than the gamma rays photons as the correct interpretation of the mysterious radiation. Then a few months later, in May 1932, Chadwick submitted the more definite paper titled The Existence of a Neutron. Chadwick didn't think he had discovered a new elementary particle. He believed the neutron was a complex particle consisting of a proton and an electron. The German physicist Werner Heisenberg showed that the neutron could not be an electron-proton pair and was actually a new elementary particle. The discovery of neutron quickly changed scientists' view of the atom. James Chadwick, whose discovery of the neutron had paved the way for the atomic bomb, worked on the Manhattan Project during World War II. The conclusion drawn from this experiment were First one, the neutrons are neutral that means they don't have any charges on them. And second, neutrons are slightly heavier than protons. So, we have learned now about electrons, protons and neutrons. These are called as fundamental particles. In the upcoming videos, we will learn properties of each particle. Hey guys, I hope you have learned something today. If yes, then click the like button below, comment below, share this video with amazing learners like you, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so whenever I upload any video, you will be notified. Thank you.